Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 18th through the 26th. I did one for the previous week, if you want to watch that. What do we have for Cancer for the 20th? The 18th through the 26th, I can see that this is going to be about a partnership. You're going to need to make a choice. Uh, this could be about a duality, you know, uh, faith and trust, a soulmate connection perhaps. You have to make a choice which direction that you want to go. You may be feeling indecisive. You need to really follow your heart. This is the beginning of a foundation, perhaps, about, you know, building a new foundation with somebody or rebuilding a foundation. Either way, you're going to be presented with, with, with an option. And you, it, it's like I see the two of wands. You have to make a choice. Do you want to go this way or that way? You know, this is the week where you make the choice. It's where you, you, you really make the choice. Okay. Are you going to stay here or are you going to move forward? Are you going to follow your heart? Because this is a heartfelt decision. Wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. There's something, I know that there is. It's like at that crossroads, the two of wands. Okay, there's something that is blocking you from what your heart wants. Could be another person. You're really going to have to pay attention to what your heart wants this week. Casket. Not good. Okay. Uh, someone going out of your life. Or the end of a situation. So somebody's going out of your life. This is the end of a situation. Okay, this is the end of a situation. All right. Um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Cancer? Now, that doesn't mean, I mean, that is, you know, we all know, know what a casket means. I mean, it means that somebody could die. But this could also be an ending. It's kind of like the death card. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So it's the end of a situation. Star reversed. So this is why. Why is this happening? Everything happens for a reason. This is no faith, loss of will, being ashamed. Why now? Why now? This is a test of faith. And I knew it. I knew it. Your faith is going to be tested this week. You may be wondering why this is happening. You have a connection with somebody. You have a deep, deep, deep connection with somebody. I feel like this is the end of suffering. There's a chance for recovery. You're going to be on the path to recovery. Um, this is very painful. I think that you have experienced, and I feel like you've already experienced an, a painful separation. This is heartbreaking. Um, a need to heal, a need to forgive, a need to move on. Um, forgiveness will be needed. This is a, a deep, deep, deep desire, okay? I feel like uh, it feels like you're being pulled. It feels like you're being pulled in a certain direction. I feel like you want to go in a certain direction, but you have not been, you know, following. You know, you haven't been listening in some way. Um, hmm. Three of Swords reversed. That is releasing pain. You know, healing. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. It's time to forgive. Communicate. You may be communicating with somebody 
that was really hurt in the past. This is the truth. This is the power. This is information coming in as well. Now, this Three of Swords reverse is painful separation. So something is going on. This is a cut. This hurts. Something hurts. King of Swords reverse. There's been some sort of mental abuse here. Could have something to do with a father or a father figure that is abusive or neglectful. Either way, there's some challenging information coming. It doesn't have to be a father. It could be a husband. It could be a sibling. It could It's a masculine energy. But this is releasing pain. Letting go of the pain. So you're going to be receiving some challenging information. Um... Uh, it could have to do with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe a Capricorn. Um, could be anybody. It doesn't really matter who it is. But there is definitely some sort of uh, suffering here with that Three of Swords. But this is the end of suffering. It's the end of a painful situation. It's releasing the pain. But this is n no not healing. Can't heal not healing from a connection so I, you may you, it feels like you haven't healed from something you haven't healed um now this is rushing in somebody rushing in really really fast somebody that is angry now, it feels, it feels like this, and this is the person that is coming in between you and your happiness. You have somebody here that is very, very forceful. This is another woman. Okay, it is a woman. You have another woman here th that is in your life. Okay, it's a woman or a man. It could be a man. This is, it's like a fire sign energy could be could be a fire sign doesn't have to be this person is very feisty very angry by the looks of things i think you have somebody that is angry that is uh gonna be causing a problem for you this week someone is trying to come but that's this person right here this person is on a mission they are, may have some sort of addictions they may be on drugs uh this person um has some sort of desire to say something or do something. They've come up with a plan and they're going to be taking action on their plan. This is somebody that is very selfish, very self-centered, very self-righteous, only cares about themselves. This person is on a mission. So this person is obsessive, very, very uh, critical and focused and is taking action you got an impulsive action it feels like you got somebody that is coming in uh in an angry manner they're coming in and they're really going to shake up your life this person is toxic they're unhealthy they probably have some serious addictions they're probably obsessive and they're going to be asserting themselves somehow it's almost like throwing themselves in front of you or throwing themselves into a situation it feels like they uh I don't know, they want to sabotage, you know, they want to sabotage something. Whoever you are dealing with, this person is angry and they are obsessed. I feel like, um, it feels like we have a disaster here. They're, it's like they, they can't master their emotions. This person is out for revenge. I feel like you got somebody here that is out for revenge this week and they are trying to come between you and your happiness and they're going to, it's going to, it's almost like it, this is a, an entrance almost like they they pull in and they uh, do something crazy it feels like they I don't know what this crazy thing is they may say something really crazy um, anyhow um, this is a this is no help not getting help somebody not getting help you may be dealing with somebody who's not getting any help. This person is depressed. They're ill. Can't heal. 
lack of healing very unhealthy you are you got somebody very very unhealthy in your circle in your in your situation this person is uh uh it feels like they're they're fearless they take a risk and it feels like they're angry and they're under attack it's like they want to attack they want to attack you i'm sorry i'm not trying to scare anybody but it feels like this person is ready to attack so i think it's a fire sign energy i really do it could be air libra gemini aquarius could could be a capricorn but i'm i'm really feeling it's leo sagittarius or aries um, this person is uh, in a deep, 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 dark place, and they're angry. They're very, very, very angry. So you got somebody here that is angry with you, and they're trying to come in between something that you want. So be prepared to deal with that this week. Um, I feel as though you're gonna, you're gonna be uh, seeing very clearly okay you're gonna have some sort of clarity you may need to you may need to protect yourself okay um what the hell is going it feels like there's some sort of freaking violence here what the hell this is this is uh somebody that is power crazed and i don't think it's you oh, let's get some more cards yeah knight of cups reversed this is this is uh somebody that is dysfunctional impractical unrealistic heartbreaker we have a heartbreaker here this is somebody that i don't know if there's been some sort of cheating or something like that there's delusions there's tantrums it feels like you, there's somebody that is going to throw a tantrum this week and they're gonna you know do something crazy this is somebody that uh somebody's been letting themselves go uh unforgiving we have unforgiving here somebody needs to forgive Forgiveness is definitely needed. We have a commitment phobic as well. We have somebody here that is very fearful of commitment. Very standoffish. Very, very cold. This cold person is going to be receiving some information that breaks their freaking heart. Probably going to make them colder. Anyhow, um, something about cold. Being very cold. Somebody here is very, very cold. Very cold hearted. Somebody is very cold hearted. Anyway, I do feel like it's going to be a very emotional time. I think it's going to be emotional. I think there's tears going to be shed. Okay, I think you're going to be sad over some sort of news that you receive. You're going to receive some sort of news in, about somebody that, you know, breaks your heart. Um, that, that. Queen of Wands reversed is uh, somebody that is angry. It's like there's a disaster ahead. This is a disaster. Why is this happening? It's happening because somebody didn't follow their heart. Okay? Somebody didn't follow their heart. They didn't act with integrity. Somebody didn't do the right thing. Somebody did not do the right thing. They broke another person's heart. They stabbed somebody in the heart, you know? They didn't do the right thing. They didn't uh, act with integrity. It feels like this. We have somebody here that is. A, it's almost like there's some. There's a stalker. You know, this is a, an emotional outburst. Somebody's gonna have an emotional outburst because they weren't chosen or something like that. Um, this is like uh, somebody here is very impractical. Uh, they're heartbroken. They're very, very heartbroken. And I feel like they're going to, you're going to see it. You're going to see it. You're going to see just how heartbroken they are. Um, very unpredictable energy. This is very unpredictable. It's like you, you probably don't even see it coming. But this is a shock. It is like a tower moment, okay? This comes out of nowhere. Somebody shows up out of nowhere. This person may be on drugs, you know? Um...
Poor judgment. Poor judgment call. Somebody, somebody has been definitely been dishonest. Somebody has been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. They're guilty. They have made a bad choice. They have not wanted to accept responsibility for their bad choices. They've refused to wake up. Now they're going to be put on trial. They're going to be put on, somebody's going to be put on trial. They're going to be subject to trial. There's definitely somebody here that is very sick. They're very, they're very ill. They may be mentally ill with all these swords, you know. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is mentally ill that is about to have an emotional outburst and somehow, you know, you're involved, okay? Um, that star card reversed is, you know, you may, you know, this is no hope, no chance. No hope, no chance. There's no chance. No chance for a relationship. You know, no chance for relationship growth here. You know, those words or those feelings could be on the table here. There's all kinds of feelings. There's no chance. There's no hope for, you know, resurrection. There's no hope for reconciliation here. Because this person, somebody is going out of your life. This is the end. It's the end of this relationship with whoever this person is. Um, this is the truth this is the truth so this is receiving some sort of information it's very factual information about an individual that uh you know the king of swords in reverse that has abused their power this is somebody that is dishonest we have an absent father here somebody that is ruthless that lacks integrity that is that is, or if it's not a father, it could be a boyfriend, could be a husband, whoever this person is, they are power crazed. They are abusive and cold and uh, not very loving. It feels like this person um, does not communicate well and has come up with some sort of plan. And it could be two different people. I'm not sure what is going on, but we have... Uh, a need you're gonna need to heal you're gonna need you're gonna need to uh well this is the end of suffering it's releasing pain letting go of a relationship this is this is the end okay this is the end of a relationship that has no more growth um this is this is uh i feel like there's not being accepted you you have somebody here that you know, will not accept, they will not accept that there's no hope for renewal. They will, they will not accept that there's no chance for a relationship and there's no chance, you know, there's lack of forgiveness here. And I feel like this person, uh, you know, <laughs> freaks out. So, uh, you're probably going to need to defend yourself this week from this person. Okay. Um, you got somebody here that is very upset. They're upset because they're being rejected or they've been rejected. They may, there may even be some, some legal implications that have went against them. You know what I mean? Maybe they lost something. There's something to do with court here. I feel like I feel like you got somebody here that is very, very, very angry that is um, reacting to their anger. And it's almost like you didn't help me. You didn't help me, you know. You may be feeling hopeless this week. You may may you may be feeling hopeless. You may hope be hoping to heal. A relationship with somebody and fearful that there's and then I'm changing the story I know you may be hoping for a reconciliation with somebody and you may be fearful that there's no chance okay maybe you're gonna be talking with this person this week um, I do feel like with there there's gonna be some honest communication this week with somebody okay 
I do feel like you're going to need to speak up. You're going to need to be honest. You're going to need to express your feelings. You may be, you may be, you know, crying this week because something is happening that makes you cry, you know, and this reading could be for the cross watcher, could be for the person, the other person watching this. Um, you know, I don't know if there's some sort of uh, foul play here, a need to defend yourself. You definitely have somebody here that is up to no good, and uh, so I will, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're about to uh, feel their pain. Good luck. <laughs> 